Now, a wire 1.5 mm in diameter and 150 mm long is submerged in water at atmospheric pressure. Full stop. An electric current is passed through the wire and is increased until the water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. You just need to check out everything. Okay, when I am studying, when I am, means not I, means if you are looking at the literature of the numerical, you should be knowing that what you need to target, what you need to find out, everything should be there in your mind while starting the calculation. So, a wire 1.5 mm in diameter and 150 mm long is submerged in water at atmospheric pressure. An electric current is passed through the wire and is increased until the water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Full stop. Under the condition if convective heat transfer coefficient, again convective, is this, find how much electric power must be supplied to the wire to maintain the wire surface at 120 degrees Celsius. Okay, so what's there? It is again a numerical on Newton's law of convection. Okay, so the diameter of the wire is D, 1.5 mm, okay, converted into meters. Length of the wire is L, 150 mm, so it is this. So you know the surface area of a cylinder, a wire is a cylinder. So the surface of uh, surface area of a cylinder, suppose if this is the diameter, so it will be phi, okay. So this is the surface area of a cylinder. So here, the same thing, area is pi dl, okay. So everything is given pi is a constant, you know, this is the diameter, this is the length, so this is the value of the area. Via surface temperature is actually given, via surface temperature is actually given, okay. Water temperature is again given, here is the water temperature, so here is the water temperature. Convective heat transfer coefficient is also given, okay. So this is the convective heat transfer coefficient, uh, very simple now. Now the electric power to be supplied. Now the electrical power to be supplied is equals to the total convection loss because whatever electrical power you are supplying to the plate as it is surrounding with the water, so definitely if the plate gets heated, so it will be loss, uh, it will lose the heat inside the water. So here it is again Newton's law of convection that is H A delta T. So this H A T S minus T F and here is the answer. Again a very simple numerical. Okay. Now, a surface having an area of 1.5 meter square and maintained at 300 degrees Celsius exchanges heat by radiation. Now here is the radiation, okay. The value, okay, uh, 300 degrees Celsius exchanges heat at 40 degrees Celsius. The value of factor due to the geometric location and emissivity is 0 0.52. So here the epsilon is 0 0.52. Determine heat loss by radiation, the value of thermal resistance and the value of equivalent convection coefficient, okay. So what we need to do is everything is given here, A, okay. So first of all, uh, if you remember, this is the surface factor, surface factor is nothing, uh, we will be discussing it in radiation, but for the time being, you just represent it by F, sigma A, this is the Stephen Boltzmann law, okay. So sigma is the universal constant called Stephen Boltzmann constant. 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 watts per meter square Kelvin 4. Uh, we have already seen in my previous videos. Just apply these values here. And moreover, moreover, when you are solving a radiation numerical, all the temperatures has to be in Kelvin. Okay. So here it has been converted into Kelvin. Do not, do not leave it in degree Celsius. But uh, you know, uh, when because here it is to the power 4, so the value will change, okay, if you keep it in degree Celsius. So here, you go with this, okay, so this is the answer. It's a very simple mathematics, okay. Now the next thing is, the value of thermal resistance. We all know that this is the particular format for calculating thermal resistance, if you happen to follow my previous videos. So here is the same thing, just calculate the T1 minus T2 by Q, all the temperatures are given, everything, so this is the answer. The value of equivalent convection, H R, okay. So how will you do it actually? So this is Q is equals to H R A T1 minus T2, okay, or, or, or it's very simple. So the convective uh, coefficient will be like Q by A T1 minus T2. 
So simply you will get this answer. I am not going to the alternative, uh, alternative thing because it's easier here. Okay, so you can follow this. Means here, here what they have done, they have actually calculated the radiation coefficient in terms of the Newton's law of cooling. Okay, now the next thing, a carbon steel plate thermal conductivity itna, 600 mm by 900 mm by 25 is maintained at 310 degrees Celsius, air at 15 degrees Celsius blows over the hot plate. If convection heat transfer coefficient is 22 watts per meter square and 250 watt is lost from the plate surface by radiation, calculate the inside plate temperature. Everything is given here. Area is given. Okay. The thickness of the plate is given. Done. Surface temperature of the plate, 310 degrees Celsius. Done. Temperature of the air fluid, 15 degrees Celsius. Done. Convective heat transfer coefficient, this. Done. So heat loss from the plate surface by radiation. This is also given, okay, done. Thermal conductivity, K is 45, okay. So this is also done. So inside plate temperature, in this case the heat conducted through the plate is removed from the plate surface by combination of convection and radiation. So just see, Q conduction is equals to Q convection. See here the heat is getting conducted through this plate, okay. And when it is coming out, now there is a combination of convection and radiation, okay. So just apply Fourier's law, this is the Newton's law of convection and this is Stephen Boltzmann law, okay. Just put all the values, just put all the values and just calculate the temperature. So this Ti, this Ti is unknown, sorry, this Ti is unknown. So just you have all the values, just calculate the value. It's a simple mathematics but what you need to remember, you need to remember what is given and what you need to calculate. Now the next numerical, a surface at 250 degrees Celsius exposed to the surroundings at 110 degrees Celsius, convex and radiates heat to the surroundings. The convection coefficient and radiation factor are this, okay, I am just taking everything. If the heat is conducted to the surface through a solid of conductivity, 10 watts per meter degree Celsius, what is the temperature gradient at the surface in the solid? Okay, so everything is given, T S 25, uh, 250, T surroundings, H, okay, everything is given here. This is the radiation factor. Okay, sigma, this is the universal constant, thermal conductivity. So what you need to calculate? You need to calculate the temperature gradient. Now the temperature gradient will be calculated again with the combination of heat transfer like Q conduction is the same kind of numerical that we did the, uh, in the previous slide. Q convection plus Q radiation. This is the formula, Fourier's law, Newton's law and the Stephen Boltzmann law. Put every value here. Just calculate dt by dx with simple mathematics, okay. Now what we need to do is, uh, this is a very uh, basic, uh, uh, what do you say, a three dimensional heat conduction equation, okay. So three dimensional heat conduction equation is very much important because uh, you know, uh, when you need to you know portray the Fourier's law of conduction in three dimensional like x, y, z plane, I will be doing uh, the other derivations also in my subsequent tutorials. So if you have to you know uh, get it through like x, y, z, so how will you do it? So first of all you need to check out that this is the element, this is the element, okay. I have already done this uh, derivation uh, in my previous video but in the tutorial I, I think that uh, I should do it once again. So this is the thickness, this, uh, this is a cuboid, okay and the cuboid has a dimension dx, dy and dz. Okay, so the heat that is coming inside the cube in the direction dx, in the direction dx is qx and when it is coming out, it is qx plus dx. Okay, so now it is dy here. So heat that is entering the cuboid along the thickness dy is qy and when it is coming out, it is qy plus dy. Okay, now here, now this is dz. Okay, so heat that is entering the cuboid along the thickness dz is qz here and that is coming out and the heat that is coming out is qz plus dz. Now this as I have already told you in my previous videos while deriving this, okay, uh, this is basically you know qz plus dz or qx plus dx or qy plus dy is actually greater than its uh, entering counterparts just because it has the heat generated that is happening within the element. We will we'll be discussing it, okay. So the energy balance will go on like this, net heat conducted into the element from all the coordinate directions 
plus heat generated in the element is equals to heat stored in the element. We'll be discussing it. Okay. So let's see net heat conducted into the element from all the coordinate directions. If Qx be the heat flux in a direction of phase A, B, C, D, okay, this is the phase A, B, C, D, okay, and Qx plus dx, I've, uh, I've just mentioned this, okay, this is the EFGH, okay, so this is the EFGH, the rate of heat flow into the element, this is normal Fourier's law, so area will be dy dz, so it will be minus Kx delta by del x dy dz, okay, dy dz is the phase area, see. Uh, this is the A, B, C, D. So this is D, Y and this is D, Z. So D, Y, D, Z is the area. Okay. So this and this. Okay. The rate of heat flow coming out of the element in X direction through the phase E, F, G, H is Q, X plus D, X. As I've already told you in the beginning, means in my previous videos that when it comes out, when it comes out while encountering the heating element inside. So it is basically qx and this is the delta qx that gets added up that gets added up okay so this is the so just put the Fourier's law of conduction in in place of qx so here is the Fourier's law of conduction here is the Fourier's law of conduction okay now just subtract it okay just subtract this okay so finally you will have simple after simple rearrangement you will have this okay so it is this when qx minus qx plus dx okay similarly when you will do it for qy minus qy plus dy it will be this it's very simple see when it is qy so area will be dx dz area will be dx dz okay thickness will be delta y similarly del x del x area will be dy dz and when you do uh, when you go for qz minus qz plus dz okay thickness will be del z and area will be dx dy it's very simple to understand okay now what's happening is the net heat conducted will be addition the net heat conducted will be addition okay now what about the heat stored in the element heat stored in the element will be the the internal uh, the the rate of change of internal energy so it will be this okay it is basically m dot cp delta t okay by delta time okay so m dot m dot is nothing but density density into volume and volume is dx dy dz so here it is density into volume cp delta t upon this and the heat generated within the element is this okay now we are just ending it so it is del by del x so everything is you need to add up everything okay as per the energy balance now what you need to do is you need to chuck off dx dy dz from everywhere see there is no dx dy dz here and this is an isotropic material so kx is equals to ky is equals to kz is equals to k so do it take out k and divide everywhere okay so here when you divide it it will be like this and we know that rho k by rho cp k by rho cp is alpha that is thermal diffusivity here there is thermal diffusivity and since it is rho cp by k so this is 1 by alpha so here is the final equation it is del square t by del x square plus del square t by del y square plus del square t by del z square so it's 1 by alpha del t by del t so this is the final equation